Capitol B react as gunmen kill eight soldiers and police officers during an attack in the state. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post our juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. The former governor of Anambra State, Peter Gregory, has reacted after gunmen killed and burned some military officers and police officers in Imo State. According to Vanguard newspaper, no fewer than eight soldiers and some policemen were killed after they were attacked after they were attacked by gunmen in the Ehimim Bano area of Imo State on Tuesday. Reacting to the incident, the former governor of Anambra State said that such a level of callousness from criminal elements must not be tolerated in the country. Peter be condoled with the Nigerian army and the Nigerian police force over the horrible incident. In a post that he shared on his verified Twitter page on Wednesday, he wrote, Such a level of callousness from criminal elements must not be tolerated in our society. I condole with the Nigerian police force. Peter B. posted on Twitter with us. I have read with utter shock and dismay the harrowing reports of the killing and burning of some men of the Nigerian army and the Nigerian police force by some criminals along Ehimim Bano Imo State on Tuesday. Such a level of callousness from criminal elements must not be tolerated in our society and nation. And nation, I condone the Nigerian army, the Nigerian police force, and the families who lost their loved ones in this violent attack. Now, I also read that news and I was, I was like, what is going on? Since these people, this man, what's it called? This man they could refer to as Supreme Court Governor. Since this man entered a seat, it has been war, war, blood, tears, war. What is going on? Before this particular state, now place that they call, if you, if you, if you walk around among people, they like to travel, they go tell you, see, this particular state now, one of the states will be seen an enjoyment state. You won't go enjoy yourself where you won't go where you say you go enjoy your enjoyment place to go go there, go enjoy yourself. What is now happening? Waiting be the problem. Eh? This thing is getting out of hand. Though. It is really getting out of hand. Before you know now. People will do this thing, they don't disappear. They will go to that community and wipe them out. People will not do anything. Yes. Whether you like it or not, people now that are living in that community, they're living in fear, then they live with their heart for their chest. Before you know, the, the and Nigerian army, they know they hear, go come. <laughs> hey, they know they hear, come. Now go. Eh? Before you know that, they go go to another community, then go waiting be the problem. Kai. Election don't they come again, they don't start. I thought I said it that these things are politicized. There's nothing you can tell me, it is politicized. Why has this thing not happened since how many do you know since after, after the presidential election? Everything happening now reduced. Now, election in Imo State is in November. This is happening. Nothing will want them. Nothing. And do you know that had it been this particular state now, nah, make I say na PDP or na NNPP or na another party entirely or na Ghana in the now, then go don't declare state of emergency for this state. But because na APC, APC, APC the government, na APC, as this thing happened, they just come. If not, then this place would be state of emergency. Come on now. So literally because the thing has been happening even before the election and you said you know IPO are not terrorists now you can see the reason why Buhari declared them terrorist organization no this thing has been happened before election Nikini it is all it all started when this man really called uh send me name hope we got to that seat these people they're no using they know they don't like that man in the first place they don't like and so why why Kai you will not leave the man alone and face your sofa head, Bala Blue. As Commander-in-Chief of, of Army, what is the President doing? Do what? What will he do? Eh? My mom said those people when they live for that community now, as things everywhere is their tight. If the Nigerian Army can't enter that place, why laugh for them? You say that's what they say, double wala for the Naim. Double wala. 
Please, can you prove that I Baba behind such evil acts? My dear, at this point, I do not know what to say. I do not know what to say. This is not a matter of IPOP here. I don't think. Where was Peter when the terrorists in uniform were killing our youth and the Biafra land? Okay. Now they don't say me go punish Peter B. <laughs> Condolence of a hypocrite. His ESN IPOP boys are behind the killings. Haba. That is why I didn't say the security agency should smoke out and arrest the perpetrators. Obi hypocrisy is too obvious. Really? Let me say, you know, they understand English. Ha. Okay. Killing, killing people everywhere. Mad people everywhere. Abnormal people everywhere. If we love ourselves, we are one. We are not free. God bless I and my family. Hmm. Ah, Mr. B, they are boys. How are they will be boys? Nigerian army should deal with them till they bring out the killer. The thing is, why I am scared for those people now? People when say they maybe then they sit down for their house. Oh. They sit down for their house. What is they call that place? He member no. They they sit down for their house. Stay bullets now. Maybe those people do that in now, like I always see. Maybe they came from outside. It is very possible that they came from outside. It is very possible that these people came from outside and they came to cause this problem. And they have left. So when the Nigerian army will not go to that community, they will not go to the community with the mindset of these people are not the ones. If not these people, now you do them. Eh? To Allah, they go down to that community, they go down clear. The Nigerian army will not say, ah, it is very possible that people who committed these acts, they came from outside. Before you know, any man where they see for that community now, they will kill the person. And it is very bad. It is very bad. They, this, this, they did this particular thing. I think it's one particular bit at Imo State too. I don't know if it is Olu. I don't know if it is a, what, what's, what they call that particular place. But they have been doing things like this in the past. And it is wrong. It is very, very wrong. Now, I'm not in a place. I'm not supporting what happened. But I'm also not supporting the, the outcome of it. I don't, I don't really weep for those particular people. <laughs> may, just, may God heal this land. Though. Life is not comfortable again. I'm telling you. Most especially, I keep saying, since that man is not for that seat, those people never drink water, keep cup. It has been from one problem to another, from one calamity to another. Uh -uh. I used to say it, ask around if you don't know. There are people who know Owere Imo State as enjoyment. Place where we say, if you want to go do what they call Faji, you go go there, go do your Faji well. But now, ha. You don't be safe to go there first. Talk less of what is going on. Something should be done about it too. Something should be done about it. This is really getting out of hand. Ha. Hopefully, this is actually sorted out. And me, like I said, I really think it has to do with politics. Because if, if not policies, what you go be? If not policies, what you go be? These people, they are going to be doing their, um, what's it called? Election, the state election in November. So may I feel it is also being politicized. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest.